Yo, Shalom. All praises to the Mosah. Yeho, Yehoshua. This is Sound from YYBY. All right, so y'all know about this story already. Before I even get into detail, I want to explain what my purpose is. Is that I don't want to bash Stephen A. <clears throat> or the sister or the brother or whoever the scandal was, a cheat, mo, whatever, whatever they're talking about. I want to show you how precise the Mosai is and how wicked our people are and all these other nations. And I want to show you the solution to these problems because what we do, we dwell on the problem all the time, but we never focus on the solution. So let's, let's, let's play this for a second. I'm going to pinpoint everything. Stephen A., with all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. What, what became apparent to me in this press conference is that we do not have all of the information here. And it was frustrating to me that the Celtics declined to elaborate or to give more specifics about what exactly the rule break. And now pause when she said that the Celtics didn't want to get the specifics out about, you know, the situation with the uh, the brother, Udoko, cheating on his wife with other women. But the thing is, they're supposed to him over everything, but the women sitting back quiet. And, you know, uh, as if they ain't did shit or as if they wasn't part of the situation. Um, you know, because he cheated on his wife. He didn't do it righteously. Um, he committed fornication. He didn't do polygyny. Um, so I want I want I want to show y'all some of the curses was going on with our people, man. Give me one second. Let's let's pull. Uh, let me find. Um, give me one second. Let's pull up. Uh. Let me show you what's going on, right? Because I brought this scripture up before. Uh, so when you read uh, Deuteronomy 28, 54, it say, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate is I shall be evil towards his brother, towards the wife of his bosom, and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. You know, you get what I'm saying? So it's showing which he shall leave. So these are the curses of our, you know, our brothers and sisters that, you know, they leave their wives. But the question is, why do they leave their wives? A lot of times they leave their wives because their wives are very wicked. They're rebellious. They're not submissive. Um, she laid down and had sex with him. Again, we don't know the situation personally, what goes on in the bedroom with these two people. But I want to show y'all how precise the Most High is. So let's 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 play this right quick. So I'm gonna bring scripture on point, and also uh, to remind you that, um, let me show you something right quick. Also, when you read Proverbs 14 and 1, it say, Every wise woman build her house, but the foolish pluck it down with her hands. So, you see what I'm reading. Y'all see what I'm reading. All right? This is the 1611 KJV Apocrypha. And this rebukes everything. This this goes against all wickedness of the world, period. It, it, it proves everything and it, and it reveals and expose every lie and everything of the world. No matter how much a person want to deal with it, don't want to deal with it, deny it, whatever it is. The most high exposes all mankind. All right, so um, let's keep going right quick. Was that led us to this point? To, to that, I just want to get that out of the way first. But to answer your question, Molly, I, think what stood out to me, I, I think what stood out to me is that Brad Stevens, he was upset. That's what stood out to me about what he termed uh, rampant Twitter uh, BS is the word that he used, that women 
were unfairly dragged into this within the Celtics organization. You could see that Brad Stevens was... Pause. First of all, Brad Stevens is an eat a mic. He don't give a fuck about no nigga. Let's be real. All these people fake. They're not righteous. The most I say, you know them by their fruit. Okay? Okay, so... And what I mean by that, I can back that claim up. Um, so if if this is what he's saying about the women in the organization not being treated fairly, this is not rape. This is two grown ass people made a decision to fuck. And I'm going to say it raw and uncut for y'all can listen because that's the only time people get it. They made two decisions to have sex. Right. We know the brother cheated on his wife. We know who his wife is, right? She's an actor. One of my favorite actors, you know, female actor. I used to be in love with her when I was a young boy. Um, who knows what they, who they cheated on? If they had somebody or not. We don't know that, but we know he has somebody. What y'all have to understand is that these are sisters that he has sex with. And to destroy the man, you have to, to destroy the, 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 the melanin people family, which is the Hebrew Israelites. You have to destroy the man and make the woman look like she's always right. You sugarcoat her, her wickedness and, and destroy him. So once you take him from the home, you know, uh, then everything else is easy for the Edomites to manipulate every situation. And these women will fall on the trap because they're wicked. Let me, let me let me show you why they will fall on the trap. Because this is why the most the most I said this right here. The most I said this right here. Hold on. Let me let me pull it up for you right quick. I'm gonna find that scripture for you. Give me one second. Be bear with me. One, we read Ecclesiastes 26 and 23. It say a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. So when you fear the Lord, I mean, you'll follow the, the most high laws. I fear the Elohim. I follow his laws. It's just that simple. She not following his laws that he cheated with. He's not following the most high's laws. Uh, and his wife is not following the most high's laws. You know them by their fruit. If you question that. You would have to follow the laws to understand what I'm talking about. The more you follow the laws, the more you do about what the most I say, the more you can identify the wickedness without people doing. All right. So let, let, let me show you. Let me show you something else right quick. Give me one second. Check this out. I'm going to show you how deep this go. Why keep pulling up that scripture, man? That thing just keep popping up, man. Dang, hold on. Give me one second. people. Bear with me. When you read Ecclesiastes 25 and 19, this is what the Most High said. He said, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portions of a sinner fall upon her. He said, it's wickedness in the world, but it's nothing more wickedness than her. And I know people going around like, oh, that's not fair. God don't like the women and blah, 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 blah. He don't like the women and all that. Yes, you do, because that's why you say that, you know, love your wife like how you love the church. Um... And many other things, if you don't treat your, you know, love your wife properly, you would be cursed as a man. You would get no blessings. But see, the reason why you say this is because women who brought sin into the world, Eve who brought sin into the world with Adam, she had sex with the serpent, which, is, which she cheated, committed fornic adultery, went against the most high that created, you know, and then went and told her husband how to have sex. She brought sin into the world. And since then, we've been going through our transgressions. And Adam got punished because he chose to listen to Eve instead of listen to the Most High. So let's keep going. Visibly upset about this. And I also found that to be gross and unnecessary, that folks were bringing in the names and the images of women that is just not a fact. It was purely speculation. And so to me, that is what stood out. 
But the Celtics as an organization could have done more. And short of doing more ahead of this yesterday, they could have owned that responsibility in this uh, for everybody involved. And I appreciate the fact in uh, outside counsel and did a thorough organization. And I think that that is something that was clearly uh, necessary in this situation. But the fact that it was able to go on all day, the fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not, we are not here. But the Celtics as an organization could have done more. And short of doing more ahead of this yesterday, they could have owned that responsibility in this press conference. I understand that there were legal parameters that they had to operate within uh, for everybody involved, and I appreciate the fact that they brought in uh, outside counsel and did a thorough organization, and I think that that is something that was clearly uh, necessary in Mm -hmm. this situation. But the fact that it was able to go on all day, the fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not, we are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not why we are here. First of all, she sounds like she she hate men, man. Nobody can't see that. She's just another Jezebel woman who hate men. When it shouldn't be like that. It should be the men and the women should be loving each other. Especially meddling the people after all the shit that we go through. But it's a lot of coons, man. They don't stand for nothing. They they love the Edomites and they suck up and kiss for the money in this world. That's why money is the root of all evil. Let's keep going. Let me be very clear. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. I'm not blaming anybody but Ime Udoka. He deserves, the fact of the matter is I've said, he deserved to be fired if they were going to fire him. If you're not going to fire him, then don't fire him. My issue is all of this being publicized. The point that I'm trying to make is just you like you're not mentioning. Excuse, me, excuse, me, not excuse at- me, excuse me, I listened. Now you say I would always like to cut you off when, you, when them, words, when them truth, truthful words start coming out. This is what they do. She start running her mouth. Stephen A didn't say nothing. This is the wickedness in them. They don't like truth. They like deception. It's easy for them to be deceived by wickedness. This is why Eve was deceived. Let's keep going. You. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I've already said he deserves to be fired or he deserves what to, to be there and handle it internally and privately if you're not going to handle it privately if you're going to publicize it in that fashion then obviously it provokes everybody wanting to know okay well who are the parties involved when you have amina smith in boston and other women pointing out the fact that there were women who were wrongly implicated in all of this it's a disservice to them i didn't come out with the report about a consensual relationship I didn't come out with the report ahead of time leaking that we were they were going to suspend him for the year. They did that. And my point is, considering how pervasive this kind of stuff has 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 existed in professional sports. But but the thing is, it's funny how they talking about this, somebody cheating and dating, you know, what I'm saying in the, in, the, in the damn sports, you know, but they forgetting about the cutthroat shit that Brett Favre is doing. Uh, who played for the Green Bay Packers, you know, the quarterback years ago. Uh, they're cutting through and taking money from the poor and all that stuff. See, see, what y'all people got to do, y'all, y'all Negroes got to wake up, man. And y'all got to get righteous, man, and follow the Mosai and understand and get back to these laws. Because the Mosai said this right here with y'all. Isaiah 1 and 3, he said, the ox know if it's owner. And the ass, his master's crib, the ass, which is, a, you know, uh, I think it's a goat, if I'm correct. But Israel doth know my people doth not consider. That means that these animals know who who's who and who's what more than these regular fucking human beings, man. That's how bad we are. Let's keep going. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. 
because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. The Most High ain't forget us though, but he forgot us for a moment. That's why we went into slavery, captivity, and we oppressed right now. This is why we're going through what we're going through right now, till we get righteous. So let's keep going. Many years. My whole point is, is that excuse me. Make sure that you handle it in the same fashion it has always been handled. You could have fired him, and then we could have speculated till the cows come home, but he's gone. But to keep him there, keep him employed, but in the same breath, suspend him for a year, then also that year is indefinite. That is. And this show you that how the Edomites, they love the strong melanin people. These nations of people are wicked, man. And let me let me let me explain to you why. Because these nations of people are Esau. We still supposed to love them. Most I said, do not hate them. Teach the ones who are righteous and 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 be against the ones who are not. Uh, because the most is about following his laws, period. It's just as simple with any nation of people. Uh, but I want to show you something though. See, when you go to 2nd and 6, 7, and 10, they say, then answer. And I said, uh, what shall be the part in the sum of the times? And when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob, which is Israel, Jacob had four wives and had a children of Israel, which is us, our bloodline. And Esau were born. Esau was his, tw you know, his twin brother, but he was a, you know, he was a mel he was a uh, albino. Jacob had held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world. So that means Esau is ruling right now. He, he he's going to rule to the end. This is what's going on right now. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. The hand of man is bewicks the hill, and the hand of the questions is as your acts. So this is what is as asking. So, so that's what he got answered. So let's let's keep going right quick. So I want to get y'all to understand how deep this this crap go with these 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 nations of people, man. Psalms eighty three one and five. It says, "A song of Psalms of Asaph. Keep not thou silence, O God, Elohim. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head." He said. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, the Hebrew Israelites, which is us who came into slavery, may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against the who, who used the confederate flag. So this was in prophecy. This is already prophesied before it already happened, you know. So this is the point. So let's keep going. The issue that I have, nobody's trying to protect Ime Yudoka, and certainly nobody is trying to protect, uh, uh, is, to, is to excoriate the women involved or anything like that. I'm talking about how things of this matter are usually handled from an HR perspective, from an organizational perspective. That is not consistent with what we have seen throughout the years. That is the only point that I was trying to make. I'm not trying to attack anybody. And if anybody deserves to be attacked, it's Ime Udoka for putting himself in this position. I've made that very clear. I'm just talking about you got owners. See, now Stephen A's talking about, oh, is Ue Udoka fault for not for putting himself in this position as if it's not another grown ass person on the other side who chose to put themselves in the position. See what this does right here. Now he write about every person to themselves has a choice and are responsible and accountable for their actions. See, but what Stephen A said wrong was he said it's only his fault of him, what decisions that he made. No. It's his fault and her ass fault of the decision that they made. 
you are grown. You are accountable for your own actions. And what this do is keep teaching women that they are not accountable for their actions and keep thinking that they what they do is right. And that's delusion. And this is what these Edomites is doing to our sisters, man. And our brothers got to get right, get this knowledge and understanding so they can teach them righteously because they're being lost just as much as, as we're being lost. And if you destroy the man, you destroy the home. It's just that simple. And when I'm talking about knowledge, I'm not talking about no fucking money. Period. And everybody else, they know the kind of stuff that's going on. You didn't say anything about anybody else. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. They didn't say anything about everybody else. All the other times this stuff has happened. But now when it comes to him, it's all over the place. That is my issue. That is my only issue. I appreciate that clarification. And I think that getting back to Molly's initial question, that is what stood out to me from the press conference. My reaction to the press conference, and I, I appreciate you clarifying that, Stephen A., is that the only thing that was made clear to me in this is that we are missing a key piece of information here. That is my reaction. The key piece of information y'all missing is y'all don't follow the laws of the Most High. Y'all caught up. Y'all, y'all love the worldly things. Let me, let me show y'all before I get off with this, right quick. Our people love the worldly things. We've been through so much. You know, we we caught up in the worldly things, man. Can I pull this scripture up, man? Bear with me, man. Cause I named these scriptures so many things, but this show you that I'm I'm in my bag. One John, well, I don't know why they didn't pull up. World, no, I, I spelled it wrong. That's why. Yeah, that's what it was. I think that's what world. Yeah, this I should go right. I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but yours in 1 John 2 and 15 it say, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. People are like, what? I don't understand that. Like, I, well, I live in the world. I wake up every day in it. Yeah, you worship it though. When you wake up, that's what your mind is focusing on all the time. You don't put your mind on the most high. The most high should come out your mouth first. You should be, that should be your thought process first. Period. And he'll guide you. If you believe in his if you believe in his his ways, he will make sure you're good in every fashionable way. It's just that simple. We love what these Edomites do for us, man, and we hate at the same time what they do. So you you will always get the punishment. So this is what these people right here are doing, getting the punishment. And guess what? They got always got Negroes on here talking about Negroes problem. You never really see too many Edomites on here talking about these Negroes problems. And you don't see these Edomites on here talking about no that that Brett Favre shit was going on either. They put they sweep that under the rug. So guess what? They shall reap what they sow. Their time is coming. If you got any questions about what I'm saying, hit me up. This is YYBY.